Today, I'm gonna show you how I made these skull sconces that legitimately people try to sell online two for 130 bucks or two for 60. I made it for less than 10. Start by gathering up all your materials, which is gonna be white, black, and gray craft paint, this dollar store skull mask, some wood glue, some wood, like craft wood from Michaels that you can cut with a handsaw, a fake candle, and then some sort of piece of wood. I got my circle base from Michaels with a 40% off coupon, and some foam brushes. I ripped off the hand and it made a rip in the skull, but nothing hot glue cannot fix. Next up, I drew an outline just for reference because I know when I try to freehand cut things, it never turns out good. So I just drew a little squiggly line, made it look a little bit jagged, and then cut that off. You don't have to spray paint it if you like the paint that's already on it, but I went ahead and just wanted to customize it to be brighter and not look like dirt was on it. All I did was spray paint it a flat white, then go back in and in the crevices, I added a lot of black. Once I got my black where I wanted it, I went back in with a paintbrush that just had water on it to distress it. I am totally terrible at painting typically, but this water trick does it for you because it just fills in those little crevices with a darker color and it starts to make the skull look a little bit more realistic than the dollar store had it. So my skull looked like this and then now it looks like this. You can leave your wood as is, but I stained mine. I found the center of the wood and then I put this little piece of craft wood because I'm gonna actually cut it down and feed it into the back of the mouth because this will hold the candle. Put a dab of hot glue, add your wood, and then let it sit and dry. Once that is dry, you're just gonna glue the other side to the center of that circle. To make sure the skull didn't fall down while it was drying, I just put something that was the perfect height to hold that up and I let it dry overnight. Believe it or not, those two little dabs of glue hold this thing up incredibly well. And I didn't add any nails through the back end of it, but you can if you want. It just, it did it perfectly for me. I was very surprised. To make sure this piece looks cohesive, I just went ahead and stained the wood that's holding the skull the same color as the backboard. I had these Velcro stickies on hand, so I just peeled one piece off and attached it to a fake candle because that is way safer than a real candle for this DIY. Then I just placed the corresponding Velcro sticky on the inside of the skull on that little stand holding it to the backboard. That way I just have a little bit extra security when I add that fake candle in it. And that is all you have to do. Hang it up however you want, but this just looks so rad, especially when you turn out the lights. I'm gonna make a second one so I can make them go on each side of our fireplace and I'll have you guys decorate with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more Halloween decor. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Friday for another DIY.